Well, shit. What do I know about anything, I guess? Good morning, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. I got my shotgun all loaded up and ready to go. 250 rounds of murdery goodness. And uh, I'm just going to get a little bite to eat. And hopefully we can we can cause some chaos today. I'm going to do some cleaning. Clean house. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Little avocado in the morning. That's good. Protein will give you energy for the day. All right. So a little bored, but that's okay. If we go out and start killing some zombies, I'm sure we will get unbored pretty quick. We will get pretty occupied. So there was a, a gas station down the way, and I got a pretty good horde rounded up around that way. So I think I'm gonna head back down there. Clear it out just a little bit more if I'm able. Um, of course, now that I got my shotgun, my lovely reliable shotgun, I could uh, I could try them all. But again, it's it's a scary prospect, very very scary, and I don't like the thought of it. Eventually, we might have to do it, but um, yeah, as I stated, we're pretty well stocked as far as supplies and things at the moment. If things start to go to shit, then I might be forced to go there, but right now there's so many houses and, yeah, just, just so much stuff in my storerooms that even if I made the trip all the way to the mall, um, what would I really need? I have so many axes, I have so much uh, wood and glue and nails that it's just, yeah, not really feasible. Not a risk that I am willing to take at the moment. So, what is this building? What is this building? Is this near the warehouse? I think it is. There's zombies in there for sure. I think the gas station was a little bit further down the road. Yeah, that's the thing. You, you wake up and you don't really know where you are. It's so scary. It's like, what if you wake up one morning with dementia? And, and you're senile. And you just make a, a, a fish and ham and peanut butter and garlic sandwich. Oh, and mustard. Can't forget the mustard! Alright, I laid down about seven full gas cans out here. Which was a good idea, I do think. And uh, the zombies seem to have wandered away just a little bit, but I'm sure as soon as I fire this shotgun, they're going to find their way back to me. Boom! Hello, friends! Greetings and salutations! Greetings and salivations to you. Boom. Ooh, three fur. That's what I'm talking about. And two more. And I, I want to get two with each uh, bullet, because I think that's probably a good way to level things up. I see another one way up there. Um, you coming my way? Hey, precious. We're doing pretty good. If you've uh, got a low aiming skill, definitely rely on the shotguns. And luckily that police station was extremely well stocked. I don't think you're going to find a gun store at the mall. Um, maybe that's the one thing that I could use. A little more ammo. But it ain't no... It ain't no fang. Don't pay it no never mind. And I don't want to shoot towards the gas station. I think that could be a deadly mistake. One and one and one. Well, that's okay. Seems relatively uh, silent out here now. Yeah, we did a good thing. Um, this guy has an axe. I think I want to take. I'll just borrow this. How's that, buddy? Did I have this for a little while? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Compass. Did I have a compass at one point? Well, it's it's half a pound. I'm not going to load myself down with that. Quite yet. And look at that. Playing with my shotgun, and the boredom goes away almost immediately. Isn't that amazing? 
Isn't that just magical how that works? So I got six shells left. This this shotgun goes pretty far, I tell you what. No range, pretty good damage. And uh, I don't know about condition. What does condition do? What does it mean? Hmm, mysteries. Histories, mysteries. So I'm gonna go up up the way and see if uh, there's, there's some more adventure. I tried to go down um, south. East? Yeah. Southeast. But there weren't nothing that way. So, this looks like just a highway as well. I'm not extremely hopeful. But, uh, there are more zombies. That's always fun. Let's see if I can get that body count way up there. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Alright. Look at that. Cause we're having a good time, having a good time. I'm a shooting star racing through the sky. Oh, oh. I love when you get those three first. Three first. There's uh, quite a bit of blood on the road. More. More! More! Three more. In the bag. I was I was really hoping that didn't go click click, because I was super close to that zombie. And I think now we're gonna click click. Nope, we got one more. Two more, technically. Because he got that breach loading action! Alright. Guess we good for now. Keep on humping it up the road. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be much up here at all, aside from uh, a shit ton of zombies. But I guess that's to be expected. This is what it looks like in places that I haven't traveled yet. Which means that the mall is probably going to be scary as shit. I just keep talking about the mall. I keep thinking about the mall. The mall is on my mind. You're always on my mind. You were always on my mind. Oh, I didn't think we'd see a, a turn off here, but I guess there is one, so I'm going to take it. And, uh, hmm. Let's get this ready. I think I put my doctor bag here. There we are. Oh, we gotta walk. Gotta walk in order to unpack things, that's right. Hmm. I gotta eat some of these fish fillets. Oh, Pizza World! But they spell world like, you know, spun, because that's how you that's how you make a pizza. You got you gotta spin it till it's flat. Or, you know, just push it. Push the dough into a flat formation. But it's way cooler if you spin it. That's how you're supposed to do it, I think. Wow. I'm so happy to be at Pizza World. I haven't been here since I was a little kid. That's amazing. So amazing. I got some nails. I got some nails. Could almost make another box, but not quite. Ooh, mint candy in the trash. Mm. This is for me. And we haven't been here yet. Ooh, lollipop in the trash. Just can't help it. Gotta eat all the candy from the trash. Does this say anything? Not that I can read. It's in some sort of foreign language. Dead rat. Ooh, here's some flour. Flour, yeast, water, maybe egg is gonna make a uh, some dough, so I could make uh, some delicious pizza of my own when I get back home. Oh, we got a lot of flour in here. If you want some flour, come to Pizza World. Ooh, butter. I'm gonna need butter. Juice box, pie slice, rotten pizza, oh no! 
How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. There's nowhere to run. The night goes on as I'm fading away. I'm sick of this life. I just want to scream. How could this happen to me? Poor precious pizza. I'm so sorry this happened to you. I would have come for you sooner if I knew you were here. <laughs> Six pizzas? That's almost a whole pizza. Usually you slice a pizza into like eight slices, I think. So somebody saved a couple of those pizza slices, which uh, is a good thing. I don't have to feel so bad about things. But I, I, I just can't help feeling a little bit guilty. I just, I just, I just wanted to save them. And this is all preserved. Charcoal. Hmm. Still need to figure out what to do with charcoal. I'm sure you could make something cool. Water filtration or something. Oh. I, I want to play the arcade machine. Can I play it instead of disassembling it? Whatever. Disassemble! Okay, I guess I can't. I need a screwdriver. We got a screwdriver in here somewhere. Uh oh, watermelon slice is going rotten. Eat, eat, eat. You must eat, eat, eat all the watermelon slice. The gum does not go bad, so don't you think twice. Something, 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 something. Where is my screwdriver? There it is. Let's see what we do with this. Hmm. Apparently it takes a long time to disassemble an arcade machine. I wonder if I can put it back together. It's gonna be so cool. I wanna I wanna put an arcade machine in our house. You failed to produce any usable materials. Well fuck you very much. Let's let's try the other one, I guess. Unusable metal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a very good electrician. I'm sorry, you guys. Jeez. Jeez, please. Hmm. I was hoping it would at least give me something. Oh, I did make something. Electronic scrap. Fuck. <laughs> I broke it. I broke it for no reason at all. Oh well. I guess that's uh, what we call a learning experience. Chalk it up as a learning experience. If you don't know what you're doing with an arcade machine, just, just leave it alone. You can come back and play it later. Now it's unplayable. Now it's just a pile of fucking metal on the ground. Ooh, pickles. Mmm. Yummy pickles. And watermelons? I slice. Hmm, it says there's three, but I only see two fresh ones. I guess there's one in the other fridge as well. It is fresh too. Yes. I will slice all of these up. Delicious. And of course, I uh, keep waking up super early, so I'm super drowsy now. I don't like that none too much. Oh, they're just chunks? Whoops. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. But those watermelon chunks fill you up pretty good. Can't eat the, the trash can lollipop because I'm full of watermelons. How to use generators. Fuck. I really shouldn't have been an electrician. Oh well. Let's read a magazine get rid of some of these negative moodles. If we can. I got... Drowsy, bored, sad, exhausted. Things are just not looking too good for the Dayton does. Hmm. How about old newspapers? They should all be the same newspaper, right? Since, like, newspaper delivery probably stopped on the day that the Zombocalypse started. I think that makes good sense. But you got five different papers here, so I'm gonna read all of them. I'm going to fill in all the crossword puzzles with the same answers over and over. Because that's what crazy people do. And 
and I'm a little crazy living out here by myself, doing nothing all day long. Feeling a little sad. Oh, it's only boredom and stress. So, uh, I need to find another thing to reduce my, my sadiness. Oh, I'm so sad. Wow. Storeroom. And there's a baddie out there somewhere. He's a bad boy. I love these storerooms. There's always something nice. Chicken wire. We can make a chicken coop, I think. And then you can, like, start producing your own eggs. Which is going to be really handy when the power goes out. There's another axe. Mm-hmm. I take. More nails. Tape. Barbed wire oxygen tank I don't want. Crate I will take. Hmm, pallet of logs. Ooh, hmm, yeah. Shite. I would really like to bring those. Could I, could I just bring those? I don't think I can. Mm. Fart, fart, fart. I'm already super overweighted from the watermelon chunks. Alright. Can't take the pallet of logs. Not quite yet. I'll just take a bunch of wooden crates, I suppose. This battery's full. I need to change out the battery on that one, uh... That one light that I let go out. Oh my god. I'm so overweighted. I'm gonna have to come back here. Mm-hmm. Yep, I'm full up. I'm full up. It says I'm a little exhausted. High exertion. Is there a chair I could sit down on for just a moment? Just lay on the counter. Hmm. You can disassemble the door with a propane torch and a welding mask. What the fuck? Alright. Well, I gotta get home. There's a lot of interesting shit over here. But I don't have time to explore much of it. And I'm extremely tired. Well, not extremely tired yet. But tired. Period. And uh, I can't quite remember where my house is. I ran upwards quite a ways. So we might be in trouble. <laughs> I hope I didn't lose my house again. Is this a school? I think so. It's a good point of reference. You remember when we, we went in there and beat up Mrs. Witherbottom? We beat her to death. Back to death, rather. Mm-hmm. I recognize that gazebo as well. Yeah, we're doing pretty good as far as, like, uh, landmarking things out and, and figuring out where we are. It was only in the first episode or so that I was like, Where the fuck is anything? I'm so lost. There's a gas station over there. Oh yeah, we're close. We're gonna make it just fine. Although my exertion is, uh, exceedingly high. I don't like that none too much. Eat watermelons. Need more of this. Oh, and it's, it's making me sad. Fuck. This is not good. I need to find some books. Or some such. And I'm not eating any more of these frickin' watermelon chunks. <laughs> Look at how evenly they're spaced out. It's like Hansel and Gretel left a little trail of watermelon chunks to find their way back home. But then birds came and ate it because birds are assholes. I wish I was a bird. I could fly far, far, far away from here. <laughs> I don't know why... Every every episode kind of like just comes back to Forrest Gump. It's the dumbest thing ever. Oh, I've seen that movie maybe one time too many. Something like that. Flour. Let's see if I can make some bread. Some bread dough. Would that help you forget reality? If you cook? Do a little cooking? I think that's nice. Oh, I got so much stuff. Lots of flour in here. No yeast. 
Hmm. Hey, there's some yeast. Where'd that go? Right, meow. Okay. Unpack this. And then we'll unpack this. Not all of it. Just one. And then... I guess I need some water. Do I have a container for water? Or you need like a bread pan? Let's grab a bowl. Fill the bowl with water. I think I'm getting the hang of this maybe. Bowl of water. Make a bowl of gruel. Make dry ramen noodles. Hmm. I'm missing something. Is it an egg? Do I have any eggs? I suppose not. That's a shame. I should have grabbed those eggs from the, uh, the what you call it. Oh, there's eggs. Okay. Twelve fresh eggs. I can boil an egg? Sure, boil all of these eggs. In a bowl of water. Is that working? Oh yeah! Hard boiled egg! Well shit! What do I know about anything, I guess? I'm gonna make a bowl of gruel. I'm probably not going to like eating a bowl of gruel. How's that? Is that delicious? Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. That's, that's probably not too good. Brings up that boredom and unhappiness to unsafe levels. Uh, we could just stash it in the freezer, right? I'll, I'll freeze my gruel for a little later. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to eat this. Mm, yeah, I'm going to leave this outside. The zombies can have it if they want. It was just an experiment, okay? I don't actually want to eat this. Three, four. Yay, four bowls of gruel. And even when it's fresh, it increases boredom and unhappiness, so... That's not what I want. No, sir. And now I'm very, very tired. Oh, so tired. Well, cry me a frickin' river, huh? Why, don't ya? Maybe I got some magazines or books. Or nudie magazines. Hmm. Surely there's something. Boredom and stress. But I need to... to get rid of my sadness. Don't I have a toy of some sort? Nine mil Uzi. Mm. It's not gonna kill much, but it shoots fast enough. Rotten cheese, oops. I fucked up just a little bit. Marinara, mystery seeds, ropes, tuna, vitamins. Yeah, I, I don't think I have any books in this base. I stopped picking them up for some reason. That I can't discern. Oh, here's a comic book. It might help me just a little bit. I do hope. Come on. Hmm. Still depressed. Still so depressed. Oh. Well. Well, shit. Anything in here? No, this is just the bathroom. Take some antidepressants. I think I already had some on me. <clears throat> Maybe not. Maybe I ate them all. Hmm. Well. So put this cooking pot away. Collects rainwater when left outside. That's pretty cool. That's super cool. Hmm. Yeah, I don't... I don't quite know what to do with the yeast uh, just yet. That's okay. It's just fine. 
I'll have another uh, egg for dinner. Really, I could I could eat all 12 of those hard-boiled eggs, but it'll make me die of a heart attack, I'm sure. <laughs> and that's not the way to go. If you're in the middle of a zombie apocalypse, you don't want to die from a heart attack. That's going out like a bitch, alright? Like a little bitch! Oh, bedtime stories. I could get rid of some, uh, some stress with this. Some boredom. Some unhappiness. Think back to your childhood. Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Goldilocks. And he went to a bear's house. And then they made him a transgender. This is a PC story for PC children. Isn't that so fun? So the bears came home. And they're like, what are you doing in my bed? Not that, not that I have a problem with your, your life choices or anything like that. But I just, I just wanted to, to ask you, you know, what, what brought you to this, this impasse? And Goldilocks was like, well, I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy and I thought this would make me happy, but it doesn't make me happy because now I'm still unhappy. And they're like, well, that's very sad. What could I do to make it a little better? And he's like, make me a bowl of porridge. So, they made him a bowl of porridge, and he said, nah, that's too hot. And so they made him another bowl of porridge, and he said, nah, that's too cold. And they made him another bowl of porridge, and he said, oh, that was just right. And they said, okay, well, now you feel better, uh, you, you, you get that, you get out of our house now. And he's like, what are you, some kind of hate monger? You don't want me in your house? And then they're like, well, no, it's just our house. And he's like, well, if you let me sleep here tonight, then I'll, I'd be happy to leave in the morning. So... They offered the bed to, to little, the little uh, person, <laughs> and they're like, here you go, this is Papa Bear's bed. And he said, no, nah, this one's way too hard. And they said, oh, here's Mama Bear's bed. And he said, oh, no, this one this one way too soft. And so they said, hey, here's Baby Bear's bed. And they said, oh, this one's just right. Why don't you bring little Baby Bear in here? And then he said, no, I think Baby Bear's going to sleep in our room tonight. You can, you can sleep here by yourself. And he said, what, you don't trust me? And then they said, no, we don't. And they ate him. The end. That was a pretty good book. <laughs> PC stories for PC children. I hope you'll join me for the next time. <laughs> I've been Brandon Dayton, friends, your humble narrator. Super, super tired, about to collapse on the floor. Um, it's barely 6 o'clock, but hopefully we can sleep through until the morning without any gunshots or bullshit going on in the night, but... We shall see. I haven't been having too much luck with that since the, the new changes were implemented, but um, fingers crossed. <laughs> so, friends, please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. And if you do, friends, I'll send you an instruction manual for a Samsung uh, A7 Prime. I think that's a phone. Maybe it's J7. I don't know. A and J rhyme, if you didn't know that. So that's your handy hint for life. I can't send you the phone, it's just the instruction manual, because uh, shit's expensive, bro. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, and until then, friends, bye bye One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.